okay i am going to the file after that i'll open an image i'll go to my drive and i have downloaded this image from a website and i will give you it to whatsapp you will not find it in the google apni eta google e nao pete paren karon i have spent lots of time to download this image otherwise i had to buy actually i am very much poor now i don't have much money to buy any such image or graphical work from any website so i will give you this to mail or whatsapp and you will try with this image now i'll go to the file again open and i'll open another image of a tree yes and watch this carefully these types of works are very difficult and uh, you have to remember all of the points so that you can't skip any one and i have downloaded this black and white image and you have to take the same image to do the work then i have to go to the image after the mood and i can see that this is gray scale i have to make it rgb and 8 bits channel i'll select rgb 8 bit channel is already been selected now i'll take the crop tool and i can see the cropping option here and select white width and height resolution and if there is anything just click on the clear so that there will be no option here after that give here 150 pixels and then drag this point till here and take it here a little bit because actually i don't need this white portion for this work and click on the tick mark after that make sure the foreground and background color is black and white it's not black and white how to make this if you press d in the keyboard then you will get it easily otherwise you can go manually also from here then take the brush tool and then go there take soft round brush and make sure hard hardness is 0% opacity and flow is 100% and then you can decrease the size because i don't need a big size otherwise you can do it later after taking the brush tool you can press the second curly bracket to increase the brush size i am increasing it little bit and take a new layer take a new layer and color it so that it will get black in the back side of this area and after that select the background layer that means the main layer so you have to select here that means you have to make a selection here either you can take the quick selection tool to select this or magic wand tool this is the very white area we can easily easily select with the magic wand tool you see each and every portion has been selected and make sure that this contiguous is on that means make sure that there is tick mark on this after that you can either you can go to the select and inverse or you can press control shift i after that go to your image that means which you have taken the tree image and press v in the keyboard so that you can get the move to and take it there and place it after that you can see in the downside of this there is layer mask icon click on this and if you want to 
resize this image that means the tree image if you want to resize this then unchain this unlink this and select the image and you can press ctrl t and adjust this i'm not doing this because uh, my image is already been placed in a proper way after that go to the blend blend mode and select hard light and i am taking the layer one down i'll do it later after that go to your adjustment layer and select black and white and then you have got this i am taking the layer one down after that I don't see that there is very much black here my work is only done if you want to highlight this then what you have to do you have to take the white in the foreground color you can either you can press X in the keyboard then it will reverse or you can use this arrow key then you will get white at the top and black in the background okay and then select your image that means this image and take the dodge tool you see here this is the dodge tool and then select here mid tones and make sure that your exposure is 100 percent and you can increase the lightness of this area And you can record this as you want. Well, I'm done. And you can save this as PSD and PNG. You have to save in both files so that you can understand it later that how you have done the work. I'm going to save this desktop and I'm renaming it as double exposure. double exposure and save this after that okay and go to the file and then save as and save on your computer save it as jpg and okay understood